my friends, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. In yesterday's video, we did work on a main mission with Charles and Rainsfall. Didn't go quite so well, but um, we're alive, so there's that. Now, in today's video, I do want to work on some side quests, but before we get there, you leave something I... behind? No, I should have some mail, sir. Invitation from Francis Sinclair. This is for all my rock carving, so collect. Oh, rock carvings log updated. Inspect document. Let's read. Invitation from Francis Sinclair. Dear sir, the carvings. You've found the last of them. Oh, wait. Until I show you what I've pieced together. You'll think I'm a bit buttered. Please do not dally. I'm traveling soon and don't want to miss you. See you at my home a bit north of the midway point between o o one Gila Lake and Strawberry. Yours sincerely, Francis Sinclair. Oh, dear. I'm already being poorly. You got questions. F1 for details. Okay, Francis Sinclair asks you to help him find the rock carvings. And it looks like I need to just go back to his house to collect the reward. Is it on the map? Because that would be awesome. It is on the map. Great. One more thing we'll try to do today. So I want to try to do Hamish and Charlotte. And then if there's time, go all the way back over here to Strawberry. But that's my plan. And we'll start with Seamus. And Take I'll meet now. you w when I get closer. <laughs> and here we are, back at Hamish's cabin to check on him to do some hunting. Hamish invited you to go hunting again with him at his cabin near O'Crank's Run. Um, apparently, we already have a gun ready. <laughs> so let, let's, let's just go and say hi. Hamish. Arthur. Come on in. Hi. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Hmm. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? Huh. I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Holy crap. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Did you just say pursue? Stop there. Kill the boar. That's a big boy boar. Damn it. <sighs> where, where? There. Where's he going? I got the horse. Come on. Okay. I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. The tracks go this way. Come on. Okay. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. And fast, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Yep, he did. Easy. Shit. He's been across here twice. What we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tr It's fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. No, 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 no. Okay. I... Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. 
the, the tracks go that way. I don't... Oh, you. All right. Please be careful, Mr. Hamish. You're fine. Yeah, he's not up here. The tracks were the other direction. Or the scent or whatever my dead eye tells me. Oh, there's a thing over here I can click on. Yep. Easy, whoa. There's gunshots, what? Investigate gunshots. is over here. Um, oh, it's back this way? It seems to be in like the opposite direction of where I was just, where he was supposed to be going. Maybe it's something else. I feel like I'm going the long way to get there. Okay, it's right up here. You're fine. Amos. Shit, he's after. Kill the boar. Come on. Come on. I know you don't want to. We need to save Hamish. He's being chased down by a boar. Thrown and a bastard hog got me. Uh, take a bill for me, would oh, you? No. He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, uh, but he's strong. <laughs> oh no! Amish. No, oh, no. Oh, he landed right on top of him. You got him, old man. Oh no, I don't. I didn't like that Hamish died. The better in part four is complete. A huge wild boar is sighted. Near Hamish's cabin and a hunt begins. Oh no. It's okay, Buell. Put away the gun. It's okay. Easy. You're okay. Easy. It's okay. Shh, boy. You're all right. There's a good boy. There, boy. Come with us for a while if you want. Take trophy. Giant boar tusk. Can't be sold. Oh gosh, can't I like take Hamish somewhere and bury him? I mean, he's on underneath this boar. That's. I don't want to swap his hat. That's so sad. Let's go. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Oh. He's such a pretty horse, too. That's it, boy. Okay, let's feed our new horse. Oh, in a second, we can. Oh, gosh, that was really... <laughs> like... Brings out the feels, but like really sad. I don't want, I don't want, um, 
I don't want Hamish to be gone. Okay, well, I guess I've got bonding to do on my new horse. So I'll very slowly make my way up to Charlotte. Hopefully that's less depressing, but... Oh, that's so sad. I really liked Hamish and wanted Arthur to go and just build a cabin right next door to Hamish and... I don't know. Hang out with him for whatever time he had left, but... Anyway, um... Yeah. I'm going to, like I said, make my way up to Charlotte. I don't know why we're having problems. Okay, <laughs> um, but we are. <laughs> but anyway, I'm making my way up to Charlotte and I'll, I'll meet you there when I get closer. Oh my gosh. What the heck just happened? There we go. Um... Hello? Okay, I guess you're just dead. <laughs> we'll, we'll move you out of the way. There was a search saddlebag. Search saddlebag option. Potent health care. Oh. Hamish could have used that. I'm about my own business, and I don't want your company. Okay, Howdy. Grumpy. Maybe don't have your hat so low on your face. All right, I have made my way up to Charlotte. Oh, I hope everything's okay with her, too. Still not Wednesday. I was able to get him to follow me, because I think I want to leave Buell here with Charlotte. I feel like I feel like that's a good new home for Buell. I don't see her just yet. And I also noticed that... Um, Still not Wednesday technically has my saddle, so all of my things are still there. <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll refresh my clothes so I look less blood spatters, and and go and speak with Miss Charlotte. Oh, there she is. She's okay. My my, I was wondering when I was gonna see you again. Hi. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean well, it. I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Eh. Uh, I'm still standing. Yeah, there's that. Which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. <laughs> I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Please go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. I can speak without my mouth moving, but I don't... I don't need anything, but thank you. Oh goodness, all these quests today are all about the feels. I feel like we're, we're making a round of saying goodbye to all of our side quests and wow, I I really bonded with uh, Hamish and Charlotte. It seems like way faster than anybody else, but okay, well, since we have so much time left, I'm definitely going to make my way over to Francis Sinclair for Geology for Beginners Part 2. And if there's still even more time, then we'll finally come back and do this Edith Down ones. I, I could do it her first because it's technically closer, but I want to, I feel like that's, that that could be a thing. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to fast travel over to Strawberry and, and meet you when I get closer to Mr. Sinclair. Mr. Preacher. Gotta leave you here, boy. You okay? Isn't this the crazy preacher that's been over here many, many a time? Stop! Stop it! Just go away! Stop it! Whoa. Whoa. Sir. I get too close. I don't hear you. You're not that. Go away. Oh, oh please. Just, just 
to forgive me. Hey, mister. Hi. This is total madness. I know it is, but I can't stop. No, I, I can't. Why not? Ah! Sir, maybe... I, I'm feeling very abandoned. Okay. You know, very ignored. See, I, I asked for, for... for a message. And he gave me the whole world. But no signal I can understand. All these... all these people, and, and none of them quite right. Uh-huh. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world. Wasn't that enough? No. <laughs> it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm so, I'm so greedy. I'm, I'm awful. I don't know if you're awful, but maybe you just need a friend or some help. Okay. I'm guessing we're done at this point. <laughs> anyway, I'm I am relatively near Mr. Sinclair's house. I did give Arthur a bath. <laughs> it's like he's a puppy. But I gave him a bath. I gave him a good night's sleep. I gave him a good breakfast. Uh, same thing for Still Not Wednesday. What? She had a couple of good brushes and she had a good yeah. breakfast. Yule was still following us, but maybe maybe he ended up somewhere safe. Probably back at camp somewhere. But I, I still want... I, I wish Buell I could have given her, given the horse to, to Charlotte. That would have been like a perfect place for it to go. Hey there! And yeah, we're just going to ride the rest of the way together because I don't feel like it is... No, it's not that far away at all. We get to find out what the mystery was with these rock carvings. Because there, there was a thing, if I remember correctly. Hi there, mister. Morning. I don't know if I need to be saying hi to everybody anymore because my... Good cowboy karma is so high, but yeah. it's a habit now. Okay, hang on. The house is right here. Is that a bear? Go, go away. I got I got things to do. Like I gotta save real quick. I'm only 69.5% complete. I feel like my percent complete is not moving as far as it should be. Which is why I wonder if a lot of it has to do with the compendium. Real good, boy. Yeah, we're gonna park you in the bushes here. There, you, there you go. Okay, let's go and talk to Mr. Sinclair. Hello. Hello, Mr. Sinclair. Whoa. Huh? Oh. Hello? Can I help you? Oh, I'm sorry for intruding. Uh, Mrs. Sinclair? Yes? How did you know? I'm looking for your husband. My husband? Yeah. He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born one year ago. What? Your husband, Francis, is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband, Tom, is dead. Uh... I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? Uh, Arthur. Uh, that's not important. Excuse me. It's... Wait. What? Accomplished collector's item. Completed one of the collectible strands. Francis and Claire asked you to help him find rock carvings hidden throughout the world for reasons you can't explain. Once found, the carvings, carving locations can be made. Yeah, I did all that. That. So. The baby was the guy who gave us the quest? 
Are we having like a time travel, time, timey wimey wibbly wobbly? <laughs> this going on? Is he the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> like it was like a wall you know that meme where it's got the strings and like all the theories and everything going on i feel like that was the wall a little bit <laughs> but um okay that um that happened <laughs> okay well i was just in strawberry and i did not see a stagecoach quest i am going to head to Rhodes and see if there's a stagecoach quest. If not, then we'll go up to Ainsburg and work on Miss Miss Edith Downs quest. But let let's see if there's still another stagecoach quest. I feel like I feel like somebody mentioned in the comments that they're they they would tell me when they were all done. Yeah. But maybe maybe I I misremembered like usual. And here we are in Ainsburg. No new stagecoach quests in Rhodes either. Although I did restock on supplies for Still Not Wednesday. And we are up to like 70.5% complete now, I think. So that's something, right? I said, hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company bonus? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Mrs. Downs. I I need to make all kinds of amends, don't I? Mrs. Downs. Oh, go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean... Well, I... I this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Yeah. Oh, what do you think? Down the mine. Oh, no. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Why don't maybe they I like him? Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Arthur, maybe you could go give her some money so she doesn't have to... Do what she's doing all the time. Okay, so we need to go to the mine. Probably to check up on her son, right? Yep. We've got thousands of dollars on us. We can probably totally give them money to start over. I, said all there is to say. I, I know, Miss Edith. But we're gonna... Oh, a gunsmith. I haven't been in there. You know what? It's fine. I can always come back later. It sounds like, right? So I just want to. I just want to keep questing for a while. <laughs> oh, up here. Hi guys. Remember me? Mr. Dockery. Oh, your mom's a horn. That's a goddamn fact. Hey, anybody want to get lucky tonight? Why don't you shut up? Oh, hey, all right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Yeah, I'm what? scary. Well, I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Oh no. Can you Let me go! You're finished! Oh. 
Got him. Oh, good job, Arthur. Let the boy go. Let him go. <laughs> Come with me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy. Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Oh. Only $35? Arthur, we could have given them so much more. Okay, do not seek absolution, part one, which implies there is a part two. Edith Downs tells Arthur that her son, Archie, is working at the Ainsburg mine. Arthur heads to the mine to find Archie being goaded by the foreman, Mr. Dockery. Complete with, yeah, I'm never fast enough. I'm just, I'm just a slow poke. Um, where is still not Wednesday? Again, it implies there is a part two, but I don't see a part two. Wonder which quest we're gonna do tomorrow. We're probably gonna do <laughs> Miss Sadie Adler's quest. Oh no, wait, I've got a quest over here with Charles. I think maybe I'll do that one first. As much as I love Miss Sadie. Um let's 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 do Charles's quest next. But since I'm here <laughs> and um Where's Arthur's head? There's Arthur's head. I mean, I love the Viking Viking helmet, but since I'm here and we do have a little bit more time left, I and I've spent all day going all over the place, I do want to pop into my journal and get caught up on that before we do some more questing tomorrow. Okay, so I left off. Oh yes, Mr. White and Mr. Black living living their happy ending. Okay. So went back to that place, Butcher's Creek. The locals thought they were being attacked by demons, but I think they were just sick dogs. It seems like Obadiah the Elder is also possessed by this snake oil shaman fellow that turned up. He wants me to destroy some cursed charms in the woods around there. We shall see quite what that shaman's game is, but there's some nonsense afoot. I know I'm reading poorly today, but it'll get better. Destroyed those charms, went back to the village, and now the shaman announces things are worse because I destroyed the charms. Remarkably convenient. I was about to give him a beating when he ran off. The elder said the shaman was interested in a mine shaft. Perhaps that's worth a look. Okay, went to the mine shaft, looking to figure what hold that weird shaman has over that village. I don't know why exactly, it just seemed important, I guess. The whole place was filthy and something nasty was leaking into the water and the soil. I'm no expert, but that stuff might well explain why all the folks in Butcher's, Butcher Creek are so odd. Anyway, I made my way back to the village armed with this knowledge and a little of the evil looking water. Lo and behold, dot, dot, dot. I find the shaman trying to force that duped elder into signing away his and the village's property rights or rights to get a mining company to leave. It was not quite clear which. The sham shaman starts attacking me, so I force him to drink some of the some of the runoff. He admits all, promptly loses his mind, and I'm waiting around to be treated like the hero I am or not. The villagers blame the curse. At this point, I left them to their dreams of specters. I should probably go back there one day and check in on them. He yeah, found a rock that had fallen from the heavens. Yeah, we, we did find that. Bacchus Bridge. TNT Bacchus Bridge blew up a bridge with Marston, either to stop the army killing us quite so easily when we attempt to rob this last train, or because we want to encourage Uncle Sam to send another train full of payroll for us to rob. Whole thing seems even more ludicrous and mothy when I write it down. Dutch is now acting crazy and I'm acting crazy back. I'm facing death and acting foolish. I hope Marston uses his brain. The time for heroics and loyalty to people is over. The time is for acting right and saving the innocent, not the guilty. Yes. Whoa, that's a, <laughs> that's a drawing. Okay, went back and someone or something had killed the professor. His mechanical creature has been stolen or his mechanical creature killed him and ran off. Guessing that's my legendary wolf. Captain Monroe. Saw Captain Monroe again. A good man in a difficult situation. This dump must seem a long way from West Point and Washington. He cares about the Indians, but he ain't too friendly with the local regiment. Helped him distribute some vaccines others were not so keen to offer about. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, for some insane reason, I went out gathering debts for Strauss. Whole business revolted me. Bunch of sad, desperate bastards and me, their worst nightmare. I had enough of the whole business, so I ran Strauss out of camp. Whole business of loaning revolted, revolted me. Turns out it's going to kill me too. So I guess that's about right. Probably did Strauss a favor of running him out of camp. That's what I said. But either way, I could not bear to see his beady little eyes no more. Fair. Fair enough. Sight of that poor soldier and his squaw wife will be with me until I die. Yeah, that was really sad. Things went from bad to worse with the army. I was not wrong. The local regiment's colonel despised Captain Monroe and planned to destroy him. Charles and I rescued Monroe and probably ruined his life in the process. I hope he can find... Hang on. I can hope we can find peace somewhere. Okay, after putting him on the train, I bumped into the, that nun, Sister Calderon, bound from Mexico. She gave me a few home truths about existing in this world and perhaps the next. Maybe I have got something to hope for. Anyway, it all sounded very pretty and took away all the dread I've been feeling. Yeah, it... I liked her a lot. Sent him the location of those odd carvings. Now he wants me to go see him. Oh, Francis Sinclair, right? Oh no, Hamish died. We was hunting boar and the boar won, at least against him. I liked him, but more than that, I admired him. He lacked self-pity and he lacked confusion about his place in the world. He was the man we would all want to be if we weren't so distracted being idiots. He gave me Buell, his moody, magnificent horse to look after. Yeah. Something odd, real odd happened to me. Went to see Francis Sinclair, only he weren't there. But a lady was nursing a baby called Francis with the same mark on his face. And yet she'd never heard of an adult with that name and was acting real odd. She must have been treating me for a fool, which perhaps I was for getting involved in this nonsense. Someone had made the carvings into an odd symbol. I don't know what to make of it, make of this at all. Yeah, it was um, timey wimey wibbly wobbly. That's what I'm just gonna go with. But anyways, we are gonna pause here today, and in tomorrow's video, we're gonna do main quest because that's that's all I've got left. I I could do some exploration, but I kind of just wanna see what happens next in the story. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.